Tiesto. Welcome back to America's Dance 30. It has been way too long. How have you been? I thank you for having me. I mean, uh, I've been great. I've been traveling around the world, DJing and producing music. So life's good. <laughs> Living the life. Well, before yeah. we talk about Hot Honey and before we talk about your new song, Tantalizing, you know, I got to tell you, this is the first year in a long time that I haven't gone to EDC and seeing your photos and videos just gave me so much FOMO. How was it for you? Uh, it was incredible. I mean, I, especially uh, the Orlando one, I, I, I like a lot because the crowd is so into the music and uh, it's it, it's it's massive. And it's just, uh, yeah, it's an amazing place to play, you know? Yeah, yeah, and just seeing the crowds was just incredible. You know, I've hosted main stage at multiple festivals and luckily I'm there from start to finish. So I get to see the crowd building up. But yeah. as a DJ that plays main stage later on, do you have to prep yourself to just step out on stage in front of tens upon tens upon tens of thousands of people? Because honestly, it's it's visually overwhelming. Yeah, no, it, it, it is, it is. And I, I'm, I'm prepping myself every day. So it's uh, it's like going to the gym, you know, you got to maintain everything. So it's the same with my DJ set. Every week, things change to it. Think some things change, stay the same. So... Yeah, it's, it's every every day I'm working on it and think about where I'm going to play, what, what I want to play there, and every set is different like that. And, of course, you've been doing this a long time, so you're used to it, but does it take you a little bit in your set to get comfortable? Um, no, not really. I mean, only when things are not going well. So, <laughs> you know, then I can get really uncomfortable very quick. So, you know, when the, something is wrong with the equipment or you play a track and it didn't go over as you expected, you're like, oh... I got to change something here, you know, and then that's that's that. Then I get nervous. Well, let's talk about stuff that has gone over well. Let's talk about Hot Honey. Congratulations on all the success with it. Yeah, thank you, thank you. It's been amazing to see my first uh, my first country dance song I've ever done. So it's it's been great. That's so awesome. And we chatted with Alana Springsteen last week, and she couldn't stop talking about how much she loves you and how incredible it was working with you. How was Hot Honey born on your end? Because you had it before Alana came on to it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the song, and uh, I was just looking for a great vocalist, and, and, and I, I had a good click with her, and then she just nailed it. And I was just like, okay, this, this is great. And then we uh, we shot the video together and got to know each other better, and she came to sing the song in Vegas with me a couple of times. You know, it's it's been really a great a great uh, collaboration together, you know? And we were talking about how incredible it was because obviously she doesn't come from the EDM world. So performing in front of an EDM crowd, I was like, it's a totally different world, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it was definitely uh, something different for her. It's like me going to the country festival and playing <laughs> new sets. I said, like, okay, do people like this? Or just totally flashing back, you performing at the Olympics. I mean, that was incredible as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Olympics was for me uh, definitely a game changer back then, and, and I think for the, for the dance world in general, absolutely. A lot of people for the first time, heard about dance back then, and uh, it was a whole different world back then. Now back to Hot Honey. How long ago did you start working on it? Uh, we started working on it like a year ago, so over a year ago. Yeah, yeah. The, those songs, you know, the, the the more poppy dance songs, they take a long time because. You make one version and then you make another version and you work with different vocalists and then change things. So it's, it's, it's a long process for sure. Let's talk about your brand new song, Tantalizing. How was that song born? Uh, yeah, that song was born. Uh, I, I got the vocal and uh, just the vocal and I was like, wow, this is amazing. And it's, it's so different again. You know, I, I like to switch it up. You know, even in my DJ sets, I can go anywhere from like country to hip hop dance uh, all mixed together with some tiesto sauce on top you know it's a, <laughs> I, I i always call myself nowadays like the omikaze chef of djs you know I, I give you a little bit of everything you know you don't i don't have one just one style anymore it's just like i can play anything and, and hopefully it comes together i mean you've earned the right you are an absolute icon for as long as you've been doing this how long ago did you start working on tantalizing and that that one came uh, around quick, and uh, last year summer I started working on it. And uh, yeah, I already had the vocal, so I just had to make the melody and the beats uh, underneath and, and make it sound more 
like I could play it in my sets and uh, yeah, it came together very quick, but I really love the song. And uh, this Saturday I'm playing at Red Rocks in, uh, in Colorado and uh, Soki is coming out to sing the song. So it's going to be really cool. Now, forgive me if this is a stupid question, but was this your first foray into Afrobeats? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I did I did a little bit uh, on my uh, London album. There, there is a song on there. So I, I was familiar with it, but this is definitely, uh, yeah, more, more an Afrobeat kind of, kind of vibe for sure. But uh, yeah, it, it just came together because I love the song and, and sometimes certain vibes fit with it so yeah well it turned out so well congratulations on tantalizing congratulations on hot honey congratulations on everything going on for you tiesto <laughs> thank you so much you. for your time with us on america's dance 30 uh, thanks for having me man good to see you again great to see you too 